Hi, hello everyone. This is Dr. Prasad Pothiyalam. Uh, new class series on research methodology and intellectual property rights. Uh, that is the subject code 21 RMI 56. Uh, it is offered by Visheshara Technology University for the students who joined the engineering under Visheshara Technology University in the year 2021-22. Now they are reaching to the fifth semester means this is there for as a compulsory subject. It is a descriptive type question answer. Uh, type uh, syllabus it is given because you are in fifth semester right now when you go to sixth seventh eighth semester you will be doing mini projects you will be doing major project therefore this particular subject and the ideas behind this is very important uh, for you people to understand to implement it what are the methodologies to be followed in research Oh, what are the intellectual property rights uh, all these are very compulsory requirement therefore this subject is there common for all engineering students uh, under uh, Visheshara Technology University all the affiliated colleges of Karnataka under Visheshara Technology University so we'll go through that uh, one by one okay so the uh, syllabus I'm taking only module one first five modules are there all the five modules I uh, will be taking uh, topic wise I will be giving the uh, detailed uh, uh, explanation of uh, the things which is there as per the syllabus given. Okay, so this is the syllabus module one which you can see the meaning of research, objective of engineering research, motivation engineering research so and so you can go through it and the very important thing is the course outcome, course outcomes are specified, five course outcomes are given, we know now it is we have to think about uh, learning with the given uh, course outcome, we should learn the things with uh, what is the outcome based. So it is outcome based education therefore all the five outcomes you have you should uh, go through once uh, the outcome one to know the meaning of engineering research after completing this uh, syllabus or this subject uh, you should know what is the meaning of engineering research you should know the procedure of doing literature review and technical reading you should know how to do the fundamental uh, the, the fundamentals of patent laws and uh, the drafting procedure of uh, patenting because you will be doing some innovation which you want to do patent you should know the copyright uh, you should know the different matters of copyright you should understand the basic principles of design rights so these are the outcome uh, after studying after completing this subject uh, you are supposed to learn okay not the by hurting some question and answer you are supposed to understand this uh, outcome how much you learn that much will be benefit for your uh, future okay so uh, move on to uh, the next slide before that i have some small correction to do here uh, just a minute my name is not visible okay uh, okay now it is okay perfect okay so my name as well as the date in which i am explaining okay later stages uh, the uh, new uh, syllabus will come so people should not blame me that uh, you are taking this class for that okay so this particular subject uh, uh, it is covered with the textbook which mentioned in the syllabus syllabus they mentioned a textbook uh, which is uh, dipankar dev and uh, rajiv dev and valentini balas that uh, topic engineering research methodology is the title of that uh, book it is available in uh, online you can uh, download it uh, with this given uh, id or if you search the same thing you will get the complete uh, textbook as such electronic version uh, pdf form you will get so no need of asking me about the study material study material the same book i am referring from referring that textbook i am giving the explanation here using my youtube channel my intuition so do, please don't ask me about uh, further study material or notes and all uh, you can refer this textbook i am uh, preparing it based on this textbook only everything is based on this textbook i am preparing initially okay anyhow this link if you want i will give this link uh, in my description box uh, or you can just simply uh, type the um, word this uh, name as well as the uh, title of the book you will get the book downloaded okay so the first topic uh, that is part one this particular video i am focusing only on this because a lengthy video is of no use so i am focusing only on one question a 10 mark question uh, which is covering the course outcome one and the level of the question uh, revised bloom's taxonomy level of the question is three 
explain the fundamental principles of engineering research and how it involves systematically exploring and learning to solve real world problems okay so uh, this one i divided based on the reference book uh, which is the study material there uh, i have divided into uh, these many keywords uh, these are the keywords which are uh, needed to answer this question what is research engineering research uh, research cycle the background knowledge uh, making a contribution uh, type and uh, type of uh, knowledge just like observation models uh, process so i will be explaining it one by one students you need to uh, if you want to uh, uh prepare your study material your own study material you can uh, note down whatever i display here you can note down i am not preparing a separate uh, study material for this you can note it down uh, pause it uh, note it down as soon as it comes uh, that is uh, more than enough to uh, understand this concept then while writing you can further expand uh, those terms you can further expand so minimum requirement is take a book uh keep maintain a, a notebook for uh, 21 rmi 56 uh, uh, drps notes dr putilam prasad putilam's uh, uh, notes uh, you wrote, uh, note it down uh. you don't ask me uh, i will not give any study material for the because a textbook itself is there you can go through that and get it down so point number 1 what is research research is a way of finding out new things or solving problems by following a careful and systematic method so there is a well defined uh, method uh, in research which we need to follow which is called as a systematic method we have to carefully follow that otherwise we'll uh, end up in a false result and uh, we, our uh, uh, so the research supervisors or the university will not accept the work not only university the uh, whoever uh, involved in that research uh, they will not accept it therefore you have to follow a systematic uh, method Uh, or finding new things or solving problems by solving uh, by following a careful and systematic method it is like being very curious and looking for answers to things which we don't know yet okay it is uh, it's not only that that you are finding something new you are fi finding something new product you can also say you are finding something new method something new procedure something new something new anything new which is useful for the next person to do the research is also acceptable uh, under uh, the engineering research okay so what is engineering research it's about improving our knowledge and skills to solve the real world problem or understand the things better okay we are uh, you are engineer you are becoming engineer uh, another one year you will be completing your uh, course and uh, you will be given the award or uh, degree as an engineer therefore your uh, duty is to solve the real world problem being an engineer you need to find what is the real world problem that you are facing and whatever engineering concept you studied or learned using that uh, or using your friends who are in the uh, who are uh, also an engineer of different field combine together and solving a real world problem that is called as engineering research and you also you will understand the things better when you try to solve it okay it begins with a recognizing a problem or something we want to achieve but not done yet or can't yet not yet reached so such uh, uh, recognizing a problem and uh, trying to solve it out that is called as engineering research is all about exploring and learning to make the world better whatever we do that is to make us feel proud because us, us feel uh, better as well as when we are feeling better or the world itself uh, will feel better okay so that is engineering research so good research means collecting information systematically and going beyond what we already know so we have to collect the information in a very systematic way which is available or uh, if you, uh, wherever we searched from where we collected the information that everything we have to specify you have to inform uh, well when we complete the research you should tell these are the ways i collected the information these are the ways i proceeded and this is the end result of that then only that engineering research has got some outcome in engineering it often starts from a very broad area okay all the as are on, in properly arranged uh, by 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 itself it happened okay so in engineering it often starts from a broad area then narrows down to a very small topic finally it becomes a, a small engineering problem to be solved okay so this is how it works uh, initially who are do researcher they will think about a very big uh, project work uh, 
keep on uh, searching things for that they find that a particular topic is very much interesting or uh, too much uh, required some knowledge required then from that uh, finally they will end up in a very small problem and that problem to solve it will take a minimum two to three years to complete that to complete that that is a actually a phd work what i am telling uh, for you it may be a one year project uh, you start now only when you are in fifth semester about your uh, eighth semester project a minimum one year work it is required so you start focusing what is required what is the real world problem start uh, identifying the topic and um, then going to execute it as a process as a method or as a device uh, execute it in the eighth semester you are on one okay finding a good problem to solve is a very big part of the research that it takes time okay uh, if you have finding a real world problem as such as such then further you have to identify what exact the problem in that so finding that which is a good problem is a very big part of the research therefore initial that brainstorming identifying searching these are all very much important it takes too much time once we involved it may uh, trial and error uh, it may take little bit time but once we set uh, immediately we'll get the results and we'll go ahead and we'll publish our work or we patent our work therefore the initial stage is very important the research it can be treated as a cycle research cycle you just imagine that uh, uh, research is a cyclic process okay so first there is a real problem that we want to solve a starting point okay it is a cyclic one now. so first one it is a real problem that we want to solve then the problem will leads to a question it, it connection is the problem to a question then the question will find an answer for the solution there is an answer uh, a solution answer uh, to find a question or find an answer or a solution for that question this help us to finally end up to solving the original problem but when we solve the original problem meantime we will find a new problem and a new question will arise then further we will continue the process okay we will keep on doing this process finding new things uh, and uh, publishing it again uh, a new problem comes uh, repeating so that cyclic process uh, either this way or this way okay this way or this way <laughs> maybe it is a cyclic process it's a cyclic process it will continue you will keep on doing it until unless your research guide say that uh, please stop i have to take a new uh, research scholar your work is more than enough to get a degree you can stop it or when we feel that we don't have enough uh, income source to continue or when we feel that okay it's the time to give a break then we'll continue anyhow the one who is involved in a real research uh, one day or other day he will take it out again and he will continue the work so it is a continuous work once you involved in that process it is just like a, uh, a habit we become a habituated to that we we'll keep on doing that either we do it or we give our work to our uh, uh, students or the research scholars and they will continue and we are involving in that checking it how it works okay so it is a research is a cyclic work work so we need to build our background knowledge for that before we start doing research we need to learn and connect different ideas uh, which will help our minds and get ready to work on uh, the new things then uh, it's not only about uh, memorizing lot of facts uh, it's about preparing to create new knowledge so we need to be very good with the background knowledge before we start uh, working then making a contribution research is in just about reading books or collecting information that already existed or which exists it's about adding something which is new even it is very small to what we know even it is very small but if it is something new if you add it then we are a successful researcher or research scholar it's like bringing a puzzle piece to complete a bigger picture we are at least we are giving one piece we are connecting or we are um, uh, showing that uh, okay you found this piece it's more than enough don't that we have to solve the entire uh, world problem as such we need to find at least one piece to solve a new uh, bigger problem okay so types of knowledge uh, how we gain these knowledges there are three main ways we develop and access to the knowledge the first one that is by observation this is when we watch and learn from uh, what happening around us that is our keen observation 
it can be as simple as measuring things in our lab we are doing a work experiment in our lab and we are observing it or we are studying some uh, how something works we are studying how it will work that study also it can be treated as an observation means uh, making a uh, rocket and uh, making it to fly making a rocket and making it to fly observing it, <laughs> it can be treated as a observation okay how it works how the aerodynamics will work what i mean not making a paper and flying the students usually they prepare a small small paper rocket in class and they throw actually they are not disturbing the class he is observing how that paper is flying what is that aerodynamics what is the air friction how it works and all he was actually studying we have to feel like as a faculty when students do that students you should also think in the same way okay so second one that is models sometimes we use models or simplified ways to describe the complex things means we make uh, something uh, more because we are not able to imagine for continuous time today we are able to imagine immediately make a model out of that so that next day when we are busy with some other things we can just look the model and we can recall what we understood or what was the our imagination based on that work that we are we, we are doing or we have to make a map we have to think about uh, going this way and this way and uh, finally we will reach that particular place once it comes immediately we need to draw it and keep it ready otherwise later we may forget therefore we have to learn a new knowledge by doing models okay it's 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 like making a map to understand a very big area okay just an example is given here processes we use specific methods or steps to get a certain results uh, it's like following a recipe to cook uh, something delicious okay so uh, we call it as the recipe or uh, uh, the process how to do it how much exactly sugar we need to add okay even uh, that one small piece of sugar also will count uh, like that uh, in our uh, when we do a research exactly what we are doing how we are doing everything if you not not down uh, it will be very easy to repeat it uh, uh, and uh, once we feel that we need to repeat it and ch ch check for uh, some other uh, possible results or uh, somebody else if they want to check it out uh, so that they can continue we need to give the exact process that gives also a knowledge to make that exact result so thank you very much this is just a part one so many way to go along uh, it's a lengthy uh, class series five modules are there be with me uh, from module one part one uh, to module five the last part uh, be with me uh, always uh, when i open my uh, youtube channel with this particular uh, research methodology and intellectual property right uh, keep a notebook ready note down that important points uh, every day every time so, and uh, keep improve your knowledge observe it uh, and uh, uh, do it so be um, be a subscriber to me please do subscribe to my youtube channel and support me uh, a lot of effort i am taking to bring this uh, videos to you uh, and uh, uh, this is my uh, youtube channel my intuition 4865 so once again thank you very much and have a nice day